Hey, Tiny Bigelow here, and the word of the day is Kahoots. Now, Kahoots is normally used in a phrase, and they normally use it as in Kahoots. Now, in cahoots mean in an alliance or a partnership with or colluding or conspiring together secretly. So I just want to ask the question, who are you in cahoots with? And if you're in cahoots with yourself, what is the secret you are conspiring in? I want to just kind of parenthetically pause here because for many of us, we are in cahoots with ourselves and the limiting beliefs that we have about ourselves. What's a limiting belief? A limiting belief is something that you think about yourself that stops you from doing exactly what it is that you want to do. Some examples of a limiting belief is that I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not tall enough, I'm not short enough, I'm not big enough, I don't have enough money, I can't make enough to do what I need to do. Most people are in cahoots with that conversation, and that's an internal conversation. So I want you to learn how to be careful not to allow your mind to deceive you, okay? Don't quit on your dreams just because your past or things that you've done in the past. Don't reflect the future that you want to create for your life. Learn how to use your past as a way to inform your future. Don't allow your past to stop you from creating the reality that you want for your life. So you may say, Tanya, how the heck do I do that? I'm glad you asked. So there are four steps that you can take if you want to learn how to move beyond where you are and actually start to live the life of your dream. So step number one, you set a goal, right? Identify where it is that you want to go. Number two, you draft out a plan. What does that mean? Establish a step-by-step -step path to follow that will get you where you want to go. Number three, plan to act. Now, this is slightly different because a lot of times we have these big grand ideas and we're like, hey, I want to do this. And then we set this plan, but we're not prepared to go on the path. So plan to act allows you an opportunity to get your affairs in order as you begin to do number four, which is go. Like nothing's going to happen if you just stop and stand still and you're always in the plan, 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 plan mode. If you know anything about scrumming or if you know anything about lean training, um, the first, there are like 10 steps in the process of going through a Kaizen. And like the first seven is planning or preparing. It is very, very good to plan and prepare. Plan and jot down everything that you're planning so you can see the progress that you're making. Because even in the planning, that is actually beginning the steps to get you from where you are to where you want to be. So that's today's word, cahoots. Make sure that you know exactly who you're in cahoots with and that you are in cahoots with something that will get you where you want to go. Make sure that you're in cahoots with something that will progress you forward. Hey, thanks for listening and make sure you have a great day on purpose.